Recently, we had a look at some data which looked at marketers globally and what they were investing in, what trends they were seeing, what advice they were giving to corporates and businesses of all sizes around the world. And the answer wasn't actually what we expected. So we've already talked quite a bit about things like SEO, search engine optimization and marketing, Google Ads. We've talked quite a bit about social media channels. But look, they're only mid-table here. They're not the most critical area to be investing in. I'm talking about investing, right? investing your money now. You can do some of those very low cost. Right? Where do you want to actually invest your money? Well, it's the top two areas. First of all, content marketing. We'll talk more about what that is. But you need to become a publisher. Now, that's quite challenging. You can, <laughs> I'm a bookkeeper, not a publisher, but you need to become a publisher. So you need to think around smart strategies as to how you can achieve doing that. And some of that might be good professional advice at the front end, a good strategy, right? And then you can work it out from there. You might invest a little bit at the front end and some nice positioning, professional material, and then produce content yourself with that good plan you've got. I'm doing my weekly blog, and it's a video blog. Or here's behind the scenes in the office today. Or here's the staff member who's been with us 10 years, and here's the, here's the cake. All that stuff, all that content you need to keep communicating with people, to keep in front of them. Otherwise, you, you don't have enough to say, right? So you want to make it fast and simple and low cost, but keep in front of them, keep in front of them. And every now and again, you're sending them something dynamite, like a customer referral, something really compelling, something high trust and completely engaging. So that's the content marketing bit. The other bit, just under that, is big data. That's what we talked about earlier. That's when you know, you've got your digital ad, right? And you click through. As marketers, we can follow all of that. Google Analytics off the back of your website. Who here is using Google Analytics off the back of their website to direct decisions? A few. 20%. It's not enough. You know, that, that information is vital. You need to know what the most popular page is on your website. You need to know where those website visitors are coming from. You need to know are they looking at you on mobile or desktop or laptop? What devices? Where are they coming from? Where are they spending their time in your website? How long are they spending on your website? How many unique visitors are you getting? And is it good enough? And is it trending in the right direction? So again, your, your website is incredibly powerful and Google behind it, big data behind it, but you've got to use it. And again, if you don't have time or you don't understand it, you might want to get some help doing a bit of work in that area to really getting it work well for you.